Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four. Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. Either way, I'm super happy you're here. So as you can see, I did a little bit of a cut down. Typically when I decide I am done with the stiletto almondy tips and I do a cut down, they don't last long. Uh, these, this is short for me um, and usually I do not like it for more than one, maybe two manis max. But I'm going to try, keyword try, um, before I get into this, I am picking out what dips. I knew I wanted to do a KMG Manny. Um, I haven't done a video of one in a, quite a while, so I wanted to get that in. And so I'm just, I picked out the berry flakies and I just wanted to find the best colors that match with them. So I went to my swatches. So I'm going to do the ring finger and the thumb in this pink. It's called Pink Rocks and it is a glow and the glow is fantastic. Um, you know, I honestly don't think I got any pictures of the glow, but it is a good glow, but none of the other nails glow. So usually unless all my nails glow, I don't really do pictures of the glow. It just happens to be one of my more favorite pinks and it just happens to glow. So while I'm, while you guys are watching me do this, I'm just going to go back to what I was talking about. So I, I'm going to attempt to keep this length for a while I want to grow my natural nails some of them are about the same length as the tips or very close like my thumb and my pointer they grow a little faster um, the rest of the fingers have a little ways to go but not too bad I mean most of them are pretty grown out at this point so if I remove these and then want to do because I'm not going to remove these and then dip my natural nails they're still just way too short for that I I cannot I, I mean I can but I don't want to so if you hear the squeaky toy in the background that would be ember playing with her toy sorry about that but anyway um if i remove these to do new new extensions i will have to cut all my nails off i can't do tips like the half cover tips on grown out nails it it i've tried it doesn't work they don't they just don't glue down correctly so then I'd have to cut them all. So we're going to go in with this purple. This is called Luscious. And let me tell you, it is luscious. Um, it's so gorgeous. It's definitely my favorite purple I own. It's beautiful. So I'm going to do that on the pinky and the middle finger. And then we will get into the berry flakies. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're going to attempt to keep these little shorter nails going for a little while. Wish me luck, please, because I'm going to need it <laughs> big time. I'm not very good at this part. I'm going to let you guys uh, watch me dip these out. We're going to do two full layers. Um, and then I believe I show you my clear capping, my ring finger only, but I will be back to talk about that in a minute. But for right now, I'm just going to let you guys watch. So um, you do notice on the first round of dips, I do go around my cuticle and I do do a second layer of the dip powder just to absorb that. I do the exact same thing when I go in for my second dip, but I do not leave it on camera. You know, I, we don't need too repetitiveness. So just wanted to make sure you guys knew that I do do the same exact thing on my second layer. I just left it out. So I'll be back. Step one. Wake up, really gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 
Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I you always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up Okay, so on the ring finger, I am going to do a tip ombre with the berry flakies and it is it's basically a clear dip with a bunch of like like my favorite colors this is custom made i it was available in the shop hopefully it still is um but karen at kmg design dips okay yes <laughs> oh man anyway um so it's packed full of clear so i got a lot of that clear at the tip and the flakies kind of more fell towards the center of the nail so i will fix this when I go in to do my clear cap, which is why I left my clear cap of this nail in so I can show you guys what I do. But basically I did that tip and now I'm going in with the pink over it. Um, and I'm not worried about it falling all over the entire nail. It, the flakies do show through um, any of the pink that went on top of them because uh, yeah, it, they just, they do. <laughs> so we're going in uh, with our second layer. So as you saw, I I poured it over the first layer and that's just so that I don't get, I, I didn't want the foils to like overtake the entire nail and then just kind of like smudge together. And I, I think it turned out really pretty doing it this way. So the second layer I will lay in flat to pick up the majority of those. Now I've already clear capped the rest of my nails off camera. So on this one, I am going to obviously add the, the base and then I'm going to kind of stick the just the tip of my finger into those foils where they're like really packed um and then you'll see I kind of uh, I try to maneuver them around with the cuticle stick and then I will go back in and kind of get a little bit more and then I will clear cap um because this is clear mixed with um flakies going over it with clear doesn't really do any harm. The clear will stick where the base is at where I did not already pour or dip my finger in, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So after this, oh, we're done. So that's clear capped. We're going to activate and then file buff all that good stuff off of camera, off of ca off camera. Um, Per my usual, if you guys want to see a filing video, let me know in the comments and I will make sure to do one. I personally believe, and I've watched a lot of videos of people filing, especially when I first started because I was like, I had no idea where to start. But I do feel like it's kind of personal preference. Some people use e-files, some people don't. Some people use the glass cuticle, cuticle files. You know, it's just... A, it's a personal preference. I use a 100-180 grit file. It is one of the thin ones. Um, so that I love. And I always go around and I, you know, shape, clean up the, the sidewalls and the free edge. And then I use the one eight, and I do that with the 100 grit side. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. And then I go in and I basically just even out the top of them with the 180 side. That way I don't lose any dip. It doesn't you know, eat through, eat through, file through. <laughs> and then I just buff and I buff them super smooth because I use dip top coat. So that is not a problem. And then I'm going to top coat with my odorless liquids. So 
I'm sure I've said this before, but you know, if anyone's new, hi, welcome. Um, I'm just going to go over it again. I do two layers of the activator. Um, the first one I do pretty liberally. The second layer, I'm a little um, less liberal with it. I just kind of want to get two layers in and I believe, and I could be wrong, but I've tried it both ways. And I'm pretty sure I'm right that this does help them dry much faster. And then I go in with a lint-free wipe. I don't have anything on it. Um, this is after waiting two minutes, by the way, I wait two minutes, let it soak in. And then I go in with a lint-free wipe, plain, nothing on it. And I just kind of go over each nail, usually twice. It's just a habit. It's not necessary. And then I'll go in with my first layer of the odorless dip top coat and this dip top coat I no one can tell me it's not shiny it is and I used gel for years that was one of my most upsetting things when I developed a gel allergy was giving up gel top coat and I love this stuff I mean there's a couple dip top coats that are regular not odorless that I love too but so far everything gives me either major dip flu symptoms or very minor this gives me none so I'm gonna pick the none because it is so shiny so I did the first layer, three quick swipes, a little bit more here and there, but these are really hard to contaminate. Wipe off on a paper towel in between every single time you put it back in the bottle. Blah, blah. Okay. Talking too fast. Second, and then I wait a minute. I really need to slow down. <laughs> then I wait one minute and then I go in with my second layer of dip top coat. And this layer, I cap my free edge. I go really slow and methodically and bam, you know, they're so shiny and so gorgeous. You can see how shiny they are right there. Um, and they don't really dull out on me or anything. Like usually I take my pictures the next day. You'll see some pictures at the end. If you stick around, please stick around. Those are from the next day. So I'm very happy with this top coat. I need to get more because this one is running a little bit too low for my comfort. Uh, so yeah, we are almost done. We are going to finish this up and then go in with our cuticle oil. I am loving oil oasis. I believe in this one. I use monkey farts. Um, I did wait five minutes to make sure they're fully dry. And then at, always never before I put cuticle on, I always go in and I wash my hands really good. Um, I use peel base, so I'm not worried about it kind of not doing very good. I, my manny's two days is the max I ever expect out of them because I'm, I'm coming in doing a new Manny every two days. So here we are. Monkey farts, cuticle oil smells like banana goodness, but not overpowering. It's just so sweet and good. I love it. If you haven't tried oil oasis yet, they are linked in my description. I have a uh, 15% off gel 15 will save you. Look how pretty that flaky is. God, I love it. Uh, thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.